hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce hunt and today i'm going to show you the spring 23 new feature that is called view debug information for your wired property so previously we cannot debug the wire property but uh, in spring 23 we have an option and based on that option you can debug your wire property using lwc and if you have like let's say contact controller account controller based on your data you can debug it so how to do that let me show you here so if you are new in this channel please subscribe my youtube channel and please watch this video until end so let's get it started without any further delay so let me create a one apex class first of all so you can create with the help of command palette let's say apex smdx apex just select first one and uh, give the uh, name of the apex class like contact controller something like that based on your need you can do that so now you can see contact controller under this contact controller i want to use first of all aura enable okay aura enable or casable true and here you can see this one right so i already defined one method here public static list of contact get contacts and uh, i want to get it some data from the uh, this object that is all contact object as a list so let me deploy this class first of all and once you deploy this class i want to use this this apex method inside my lwc so how to use that let me create one lwc component and it name it name can be have anything okay so right now i'm using like wire property like wire property wire properties demo for example purpose and now you can see my component is created if you want to use apex class inside your you know lwc so always use like import statement import and then get contact list right and from this one apex controller dot get contact list right so now here you can see i just use my you know import statement about the apex class and this is the method name inside this apex class controller so once you done it now you have to use it like wire property so how to use this wire property let me show you so at the rate wire you have to use wire first of all and uh, once you've done it you have to use like get contact list contact list and uh, once you use it just close it and contacts so once you've done it like contacts you have to iterate or you have to do one thing here how to do that let me show you here so you have to expose this component let's true and after that target lwc this one right and please deploy this component if you want to use this component in your org so always deploy your component right and you will here you can see the contact method reference so unable to find out okay so under this one just use this contacts and under here this one and just deploy one because i already used uh, previously as a wrong method name now you can see successfully deployed and just you can open your org and just use your component anywhere as you want based on your need for now i'm using here just added this page oh before that let me add the some markup because it's a better understanding about the markup right so how to use that if you want to use like collections of the elements you can iterate with the help of for each loop inside you know uh, lwc so how to do that let me show you here so once you done it lwc like uh, four so now guys let me explain the code so here you can see template under this template we have to check first data if data is available we can iterate the data based on our for each loop and i am displaying like id uh, name id as a hidden key here and i am displaying only the name here right and this is the wire property and how to debug but uh, in previously uh, wire property is very tough to debug it 
right but in spring 23 it's easy to debug so how to do that let me show you so i already deployed this component let me show you the output now immediately you can see the list of you know records from the contact object so this is the list of the contact object but how to debug it so let me show you just if you are using google chrome just press ctrl shift i and it's open to you this developer you know mode of this uh, google chrome so once you come here just you have to do one thing here just you have to write one thing inside this you know this debug things so here I uh, first of all you have to inspect that uh, particular component so now you can see this one right so my component name here you can see c hyphen wire hyphen property hyphen demo right so this is our component name but uh, first of all you have to understand the op open google chrome dev tools so this is the dev tools and you have to enable custom formatters so how to use this custom formatter let me show you here so under this one uh, just uh, this uh, arrow you can see the console and just you have to enable that con uh, custom formatter so how to enable that just you have to write dollar and this zero and press enter once you enter it now immediately your component will come here just you have to expand it and you can expand each and item here you can see immediately now you can see okay so this is the component name and under this component name you can see the name each and every list item because we are using liul that's why you can see this element right if you have like p and something like that you can use it right so under here this property let me show you again this zero uh, this zero here and this is the property you can use it here like this and you can see like that right so if you are using let's say any kind of you know uh, object and uh, you, after you clicking the element open the console panel and enter dollar zero to return the debug information right so let's say in my component right so in my component let just you have to open any application as you have oh, i'm using like service application so just click this service and here just click on this account open any account record as you have and just you can see this list of records just control shift i if you are using chrome and just just use this inspector under this inspector you can see the element right so under this element let's say this one we have this element coming from that particular component so where it is now you can see this component you have to click on this component and just click on this console and just you have to type dollar zero enter it you can see immediately c hyphen wire hyphen property hyphen demo this is my component name and this is the lwc and debug because i already enabled some custom formatter for this chrome that's why you can see this kind of format just you have to expand it and once you expand it this object just you can expand again this one let me exp uh, dig it here now you can see everything like uh, was data provisional config config proxy context data something like that just you have to expand that contacts under this contact we have another property that is called data you have to expand it now you can see under the data we have another data we have 20 items just expand it now immediately you can see each and every data inside my wire property with the help of new uh, this debugging skills view debug information for your wire property now immediately you can see each and every data inside my wire property right you can expand it like this you can see each and every data right so guys this is the way to debug your wire property inside your lwc using salesforce in spring 23 so guys i hope you learned something new in this code and in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments and please hit the bell icon for more updates so your you will be never miss any kind of uh, notification from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching